Wiknel Shiveo benefited millions through corrupt election contract. Businessman Wiknel Shiveo, who is on a philanthropic spree, donating cars to ZANU-PF apologists and musicians of his choice has been accused of benefiting from an illegal tender for the supply of election materials used in the last plebiscite. Shiveo, who was acquitted together with his company Intratrek Zimbabwe, last year, of a US$5.6 million fraud charge involving the Gwanda Solar Project has been donating top-of-the-range cars to ZANU-PF supporters including musicians whose songs resonate with ZANU-PF. These musicians who have received luxury cars so far include Jopreza, Sulamani Chimbatu, Sandran Debeli and DJ Fan Tan. Shiveo has used close to half a million this year alone on expensive Mercedes-Benz cars for them but there is a suggestion by some that ZANU-PF is using Shiveo to make the donations. Hopewell Chinono, an award-winning journalist, on Friday made a shocking revelation claiming that Shiveo had benefited from a shadowy and corrupt contract to supply election materials used in the 2023 harmonized general election. He added that the money being used is part of the loot he plundered from the deal. Wiknell Shiveo corruptly got the biggest contract to supply election materials last year. Millions of dollars were paid to him, Chinono said while accusing the opposition of being too weak. He is now using part of that loot to buy luxury cars for the people who helped ZANU-PF during its election campaign. Buying cars from a garage owned by sons of a powerful politician in Zimbabwe. Not even a single member of the opposition has dealt with this issue or said a word about it, yet they know about it in detail. They are busy tearing each other apart when the crooks are bleeding the country of millions of taxpayer dollars, what then are you opposing? The regime awarded an overpriced contract corruptly. They are now using some of that money to pay the people that helped the election campaign, they are doing so by buying cars from a car dealership owned by a son of one of the most powerful political ZANU-PF elites. The opposition is quiet, the citizens are calling the crook used to front this corrupt deal a great philanthropist. We are such a useless people, you bash each other when the biggest hospital has only one maternity theater and 2,500 pregnant women are dying every year. The whole country has no radiotherapy cancer treatment machine, unemployment is at 95%, the country has the highest inflation in that world at 1,250%, and the local currency has lost 95% buying power. How sweet. Keep foolishly bashing each other whilst the crooks loot and plunder your money and natural resources. Meanwhile, Thank you to all those who are engaging in constructive dialogue and promoting transparency in addressing this rampant looting. Corruption and misuse of public funds are serious issues that deserve our immediate attention. It is important for the opposition to raise awareness and demand accountability from the looters. In an exclusive interview with Nihanda Radio recently, Shiveo dismissed allegations that he siphoned millions of public funds, which he is now generously gifting back to society. Please note the interview was before the latest claims by Chinono. You give the impression that public funds are stored in a reservoir where anyone can simply draw from then later choose to return as they please. Those who make such outrageous allegations have the greatest ignorance of how public funds are managed, Shiveo hit back. As far as I know, Zimbabwe has one of the most efficient public finance management systems on the continent if not the world. Public funds can only be paid as consideration for goods delivered or a service rendered after a thorough public procurement or tendering process. It is public record that in those instances that my company has received public funds. There was a procurement contract which entitled me to such payment as consideration for goods that I would have delivered or services that would have been rendered. There is no element of siphoning, whether actual or assumed. Where I have been pitifully and wrongfully accused by some overzealous yet weak-minded people of defrauding a certain public entity, the highest court of the land acquitted me of any criminal conduct. The feeble narrative that I have siphoned public funds is a subject of bar talk and pastime without any evidence to it. As I mentioned before, my generosity is driven by love for humankind. 
It's pathetic and laughable how society has become so polarized and toxic to the extent that they question any good deed and label it as using proceeds of crime, Shiveo told Nihanda Radio. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.